got to go out in the back room and down these stick things before I forget. Stick thing. The, 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 you know, when I do room. dip French, I, at first, let me show you the way I do it first. Okay. So, the way I do it, I use pigment base, nail polish. So what I do is I make a French line first. Okay. I make a frame first. Start from bottom. Oh, what's this? What's some fuzz. From the bottom, I go up. And then here. I also go up and I go on the left first. So on the right, when I go, I can aim. If it equal to the left side, I can adjust it at how many, however I want it to see if it equal on the left side. If I do the right side first, then when I do the left, I'm not going to see anything. See it? When I do the left, my, my finger cover the right. So I do the left first. So when I do the right, I can just stare at my left side while I'm doing the right. That is number one. one way and then I fill it in now when you do this right here it get very awkward to paint like this see when I paint my uh, common pattern that I'm comfortable with is from left to right I like to do like this from left to right I don't like to do this from from right to left. It's not, it doesn't make me comfortable. It's always from left to right. <laughs> I like to go from bottom up like that, that too. And I can go up from up down too, just not from right to left like this. From right to left, right, like what I just did in the beginning, uh, it's a little tricky. So what I do, is okay so what i do is i spot out the center first and i tell my client to turn her hand over for me like this so just lay it down and then turn it over so now from this side i can go up going down down but from left to right I can go from left to right like this and then I do it on all her nails so I can tell her to turn over and I still gonna do from left to right at this point her hand gonna be back to normal that is one way that I eliminate the awkward angles and I tell her often too. I, I flip people's hand over very often because I like to make myself comfortable when I uh, hit an awkward angles. Now the third thing is my pigment base are very good. That's why I use it to do a frame. In most gel polish you will find semi-difficult especially in a slick surface you're going to slip so if that is the case, I use a gel paint first. For French, I use art gel first. Because art gel is stable for me. It's easy, easier to draw line because it's built for line. Becky, can you turn the hand over for me, please? Thank you. I paint it with art gel for the frame. And then in the bottom, I can fill it all in with polish. <clears throat> that is a way you can utilize different elements in your design to make it easy for you. That is another way to use like gel pen first. 
Now, uh, if you, you have problem with leveling, <coughs> meaning you have problem with painting the curve, there's also a way for it. But this is how I do it. I go in with the frame first, but not everybody can go in with a frame first. Uh, Sometimes people have trouble with uh, level, meaning they will paint a crooked curve, a crooked frame, not a complete frame, not a perfect frame. So if that is a case, then you go with straight line. You will level with the center first and you will string it down like this. Go a little higher if you must. Hold on, let me start a new one. Okay, level it first. like that <clears throat> then they can cut across and from then on they can start curving it the tip you can do that too so you can do it like that just so the only curve that you worry about it's a bottom curve. You don't have to worry about everything else. Everything else is already been measured out. That can also be another method. Uh, the Another method could be using the angle brush. Oh, where's my angle brush? Let me find the angle brush. I use, uh, I use it for French. Is it here? Mm, I misplayed it somewhere. Let me go out and get the uh, the angle brush. So I have my uh, stroke and angle brush. I'm gonna choose the angle brush. So you can use the angle brush for French too. You can either use it with art gel or gel polish. So get in. And you can start by touching just the surface like this. Like that. Stroke it through. And then you, you can go back to refine it. The liner brush. And then you can draw your tail up really high if you want. And then color everything down in the bottom. You can do that. Uh, you can use the wiping method that we used back in the old day with the oval brush. By, by painting the bottom first. Go up 
and do your best to do a swipe. And then you can use the oval product to clean. So I'm using the oval brush. Oh. Touch it. Oh, that's a glitter right here. Touch it. And run slowly. One thing about cleaning, especially with gel, you don't want to go fast. Go slow. Touch and wiggle, wiggle. no, no, I mean, I, I wiggle, wiggle too. Oh, go slow. A method that I only like to do with gel polish or with nail polish, not with gel nail, but also an option for you if that is your thing. You can go back and refine if you like. At this point, it's already everything is already being colored. You see, now you see how, how often do I use this brush, very often, on all the French technique. So there's many ways of achieving a French. You see, if I have any other ways. I think that's about all the way that I can think of for now. Yeah, I think that's that's all the way that I can think of. But what worked for me is always what I show you first is I painted the line push straight through. That just take practice. And then it just fill everything in. That's the easiest way for me. But some beginner can do that. So if you try to do that it will take you forever. So there is different tricks that you can uh, use to adapt to to yourself, basically. And that's different way for different people. Some people like this, some people like that. It should depend on how your brain works to uh, work with your hands. Um, but the more practice you have, the more uh, stable your pattern will be. And sooner or later, all you need to do is draw a line and then just paint on your friend just like that oh thank you thank you oh that's so sweet yes thank you so i, I hope that helped